Deal with black men on a podcast. I'll start this my off. I'll start this <laughs> Y'all are cutting up. <laughs> he cutting up. I'm sitting here looking pretty. <laughs> you're a hater and you're always going to be one. Oh, man. Um. <laughs> nope. It's the Killer Cop Crew. We back at it once again. I am. Is that? Hold on, hold on. There, there you go. I am Corey. This is Reginald. This is Tanisha. Technical difficulties, but we are back, damn it. Technical difficulties. We have technical difficulties. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. It's been a wild day already. How's everybody doing, man? Better. I um I don't have a useless fact, but I do have a dad joke today. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. If it's, one, if it's not one thing, it's another. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. During quarantine, no one got my humor. I guess it was all inside jokes. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually funny, but I hate you. No, no, that no. no. I it was pretty funny. Huh? That, that, no. that was me, a little. <laughs> that was pretty good. Like, okay. I just bought a, um, a whole dad jokes calendar for my desk. So they have a new desk in my building. Mm. I have a whole dad jokes calendar now. And then I'm going to put on my desk so I can tell dad jokes. I'll be the dad joke master. Oh my God. You're going to be the annoying man in the office that everybody wants out of That's their exactly office. That's exactly what he's going to be. He's going to be like, I'm glad you're here today. I yeah. got a joke for you. Or he thinks, <laughs> or he thinks he's going to be cool. But he's not going to be. Hey, it's going to be great. Oh, you're having lunch? Eh. Or he's going <laughs> to sit his ass on your <laughs> desk <laughs> and sit there and tell a joke. That's how I met this man. He came to my office and sat his ass on my desk every morning. Hey, how you doing, Tanisha? What's going on? Every morning. Hey. Hey, move your booty off my desk. It's no. clean. No. It's clean. Yeah, my ass is clean. Mm. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, and, I, I and I, I smell like Lister I read an article that men don't be wiping their booty because they think it's gay, so. What? That, <laughs> what? What the, what the fuck did you read that? <laughs> that's, that, that's not accurate. The internet. Yeah. The internet. Fuck it's it. a joke, y'all. It's a joke. I'm just playing. No, because it's probably real. Like, it's mm. probably real. Mm. Nigga, you want to wipe your booty? Oh, no, me. nigga, that's gay. Mm. Wipe your booty's gay. Nigga, use it. Nigga, Brandon, your ass itches. Your ass nasty. itches right now. Right. Look, who's the name, Mike? Oh, oh. touching it there. Hmm? We got some feedback going on. It's you. Me? Yeah, your, your mic is wobbling. Hey, not him being unstable at work. Yeah, that's what I'm Yep. Saying. That's what I'm so be what's still. Up? Right. Stop moving so much. Peace be still. So uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> Hi. Everybody doing all right? Today's a day. Today's a day? Yeah. Okay. I'm tired. Uh, we ain't going to drink in a week. Be back to the crowd royal this week. You know what I'm saying? Rex is still on his um, sober January. First of all, so I got my you going to just phone. mention Rex like he wasn't gone last week and shit was in hell and now he's back and y'all see the we, transition. Hey, we held, it, it. we held it down without my man Rex we being here. video at one point. Y'all, y'all killed it though, man. Y'all really made it happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. We almost didn't have video. But I will week. say this, Rex, you can never leave again. <laughs> never. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to answer, man. Okay. Don't worry. Well, I feel I'm, like I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking shots here. <laughs> 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 Like I did oh, oh, who was on the switcher last week? What? Reggie. Oh, oh, it's Reggie. I give you your snaps, Reggie. I give you your little snaps. Reggie handled it. And no, the gunshots came back last week. Hey. Which I was wondering. Scaring, <laughs> scaring my friends. Okay. Y'all never had an ear gas? Yep, never had an ear gas. Nobody? Not that, but Only I had me? the one that starts with no, so there's that. <sighs> hey. Hey. <laughs> I got a gunshot. Yes. So what's up, Kenesha? How was your weekend, man? Mm. <laughs> It wasn't the greatest. Um, Damn. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest. Okay. My grandmother passed away. I'm sorry. On a Friday. Aww. Respect. Um, me and her weren't really close, but I was able to talk to her during her transition. Um, my auntie uh, Tamika and my cousin Shaniqua, <clears throat> Rolanda, and Leniqua, all of them are feeling this a little bit heavier than me and my sister are. So I want to send love to them and um, just know that she's definitely in a better place. She died of cancer. Cancer runs through my family very heavily. So sometimes I just don't know how to react to death and grief sometimes, especially when they're not super close. Um, But my dad also has cancer. So it's just like, now I'm terrified to talk to this man. Yeah. (laughs) Because if I get a phone call, y'all probably won't see me for a month. Y'all gonna think something missing. I'm going to throw my phone across the street because that's my dad. My dad's like my best friend. Right. My confidant. Yeah. Like, he's got me through everything. So, um, but yeah, so I ended up being in the house and trying to recover from that. Yeah. 
and being with my son, he's very empathetic for a little four year old. He was up under me and knew something was wrong, but didn't ask no questions. He's just like, mommy, can we play this game? Or mommy, can we cuddle? Can we watch this movie? And he's usually very independent and want to do things on his own, um, especially of late because he's about to go to school this year. This is his big five is in May. So um, this sucks. Because you got to hold your own. Because no, he doesn't know how to be fucking still. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, why would goodness. I be still? Not you being fidgety. Um, but I don't yeah. have ADHD. You, you don't know that. <laughs> yeah, have you been tested? <laughs> right. The Navy tested me. Mm, probably not for ADHD or you wouldn't be 20 years in. Just saying. Um, but yeah, uh, after you know hanging out with my son and being with him and spending a lot of time with him, we were playing Mario Kart. We were playing um, his... Uh, PJ Masks, some kid game uh, on Nintendo Switch and stuff, and he made me play Crash Bandicoot on Endless. How was that? What? I love Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god, it's so fun. Yeah, it's so fun until shit. he gets frustrated and then forces me to beat the hard level. Of course. <laughs> he's dumb, like my son did and turn the game and off. And I'm like, baby, I'm tired. He's like, okay, last game, just beat this level, mom. I knew you could do it. Now one more. <laughs> Judah, if I was playing Judah in the game and I was beating him, he would just turn the game off. He would get up, oh. turn the game off. Like, oh, my son, yeah. The game don't work. Get mad. The game don't work, dad. He's Sorry. Like, uh, you're beating me. Why are you winning? And I'm like, babe, it's okay. The, no, 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 no. That's not what you tell your kid. That it's okay that I win? Yes, it is. No, it's okay that I you win. You tell him that I'm better than you. Oh. That's why I'm winning. Oh, huh? he already thinks men are better than women. I think that's his daddy's fault, though. <laughs> mm. So. Toughen up, kid. Mm, mm, you know, he don't have a rude awakening when yeah. he can, gets to know life. How, okay. But that was my weekend. How, right. about weekend. How about you, Rex? How was you, man? Was you DJing anywhere? Uh, no, I've been kind of laying low all year. Uh, it's been dope, man. I, I went to Chicago, though, saw my yep. family, hung out in minus 15 degrees. That was great, wasn't it? Was it was crazy. Um, got very intoxicated with my cousins mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. bought a fur coat. I got a fur coat, man. And it's a nice you one. Real, it's a nice you, one. You real, real Chicagoish right now, I'm bro. real different, bro. Oh, I came back that, brand new. That tan tail yeah. with the cream fur. Bro, it's like, and it would have been full. Like, for real, all you need right now is a fade and like two hoes, man, and you doing your way. Who says he doesn't have those? Right. No, I'm, I'm saying two hoes on the stroll. Yeah, oh, about walk around with it. <laughs> <laughs> money Mike, relax. Yeah, money Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's money Rex. Don't it's be fun. sorry, ho. Be careful. Be careful. I'm gonna start acting brand new. Don't worry. I love it. I love it for you, man. Reggie, how about you, man? How was your weekend, man? Oh, uh, I hung out with this lame ass dude. No. <laughs> um, let me see. Friday, nothing. Saturday, we went to go watch the Ravens. Amazing play, time, I guess. It was uh, at the new casino, the Durango. Yeah. They in the in the George. <laughs> Uh, it was a great time. They got some phenomenal food up yeah. there. Great venue. Um, what do we have? We had the egg roll, the mm. Philly cheese yeah. egg, egg roll, yeah. and the buffalo chicken. What dip. type of food like establishment is is it? They have it's, it's, a, it's a sports bar. It's, yeah, oh, so sports. it's just oh, okay. It's, a sports it's pretty bar. much the American. sports book. Yeah, they just yeah. put a bar. They just put like a restaurant it's right in there. It's fucking amazing. All yeah. right, girls, so, we 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 need to go back and we need was, to go to the George. It was really good. You got to make a reservation. Yeah, make a reservation. A four sports bar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. it's better. Are and it, wearing, and like, it's wearing classy ass shoes. And, and it's a shit? fifty no. dollar hold per, per person. person that you have. Per that you could. Fifty dollar yeah. hold per person. Okay, ladies, we so might you, not be doing so. That. Brokies, <laughs> brokies, not brokies. We not brokies. We just probably don't. I didn't do call y'all broke. Um, I say brokies. If the shoe fits, wear it and walk it out. I wear a size eleven, and it definitely don't fit me. So wow. okay. So uh, um, did that on Saturday, yeah. Sunday. I was going to, oh, no, I did. I, did I smoke them yesterday? Yeah, I smoked yeah. some ribs yesterday. And then just sat up in the house and watched the games and talk shit in group chats. And um, that was it. Pretty yeah. Uh, the George, if you guys have not been to Ringo Station, go. It's um, amazing out there. I'm not doing no fucking, no. Not We're not promo. hyping this all fucking promo. Time. No, no. I'm wow. just saying. No. It's, I like, no. I had a great time. No, don't go. <laughs> Horrible <laughs> service. Win, You're right. They Horrible win, service. And that's that. That's right, Reggie. <laughs> horrible service. Horrible. The food is horrible. The people were horrible. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> don't fuck up my spot. I'm going to Let Keith yeah. go there. It's going to be the news. Just Keith Lee better lay low. No, I think he already did the Ringo <laughs> oh Station. God. Reggie, what is your beef? I'm just, with no, you? I don't, I don't have a beef with Keith. I'm you just, yeah. said he just, he Keith. just wrapped up his own little fucking mini tour that he's supposed to do out there in uh, California. Oakland. Yeah, yep. Because he was getting sick. Somebody, they said they put seafood in the man stuff. He allergic to seafood. Yeah, he allergic to seafood. He could have died. Okay, that's one place. 
up. Ooh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> but now other restaurants. Reggie. There's many recovery. other restaurants to go to. That doesn't mean cut it short. But we did. Uh, me and Reggie watched the game on Saturday up there. Um, and Corey is fucking obnoxious. <laughs> oh, oh you, you just now found that out? Wait Drunk, a minute. Drunk Corey is fucking hilariously sure. obnoxious, though. How? You're what? obnoxious now, and when you're drunk, you're ten times. Corey, give me, please give me an example. Corey called eighteen people when we got in the car. <laughs> yeah, but you're not denying this, Corey. Yeah, he, were, he knows he did. They were all Texas he, he fans. He rode from oh, Durango Station back to his house with my center console light on, <laughs> so he could Facetime people so they could see him. I was harassing people. I was harassing Texans fans, my family, and to my. Matter of fact, Grace clipped this shit so I could just send it to them. I'm not gonna post it, but I'm gonna send it to my nephews and nieces. Trey, uh-uh. Courtney, uh, Deontay, poor little ting ting. Uh, Courtney's husband, Anthony. Anthony. I need my bottles of alcohol. Spell Anthony. Anthony. A N T N Y. Anthony. <laughs> wow, that's the real name. <laughs> Get name is spelling Anthony. Oh, okay, over here. it's Anthony. I'm Anthony. about to say spell a- Anthony. Anthony. I need my bottles of liquor. Oh my I got God. four bottles of liquor coming from my nephews and nieces. I appreciate prop, prompt payment, please. Corey, okay. why does everything revolve around the alcohol with you? Because alcohol is delicious. Because I provide a safe space for my friends when they come over to get their issues and their troubles off. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. That's, not, that's, not that's very, opening that's a cheers a, at his home. That is a Where very nice way of saying you're you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very nice way of saying you're drunk, Corey. I'm going to make sure they send me two bottles so of you're, so you you're, are, you're a pusher. On your no, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah, you no, push no, it no, on. No, no, no. I'm your pusher when, man. When you come into my home, <laughs> push I'm man. going to say, would you like juice, water, a beverage, alcohol? It's up to you. Whether you say whatever you say is on so you. So you're pushing it on me. No, I am not. You are. I'm letting you make a choice. I have offered you juice, pusher. water, soda. <laughs> pusher. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you drive the boat in your house? Because. I... Drive what boat? What am I driving a boat in the house? Pour, in the house for? Pour a no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's what you're driving a boat is? That is, yeah. You that's put, Rex. drive the boat, taking control of the bottle, and putting it that's, in people's mouths. Rex. It's, yeah. it's a hot girl shit. Y'all don't understand. That's hot. Uh, no, hot that's shit. the hot, that's hot you know about it. That's some. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I need my own button just so I can press no, it. On my I own. ain't never seen that face. Does, so I, yeah. like, I ain't never seen that face for me. Wow. <laughs> that was a good one, Corey. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> that one works too. Ah. So, I am personally attacked on numerous occasions on this fucking pod. Oh, I love it here. When so, there's a lawsuit or a documentary coming out about the Killing Time podcast, Bobby Killing Time. Uh, you guys make me sick. Tell you oh. right now, your ass is gonna oh. lose that lawsuit. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you yeah are. I got money. I might be able to sue. Some I type have of no way. money. I have none. He got all the money. What is that? No, got all the no, money. Money. Yeah, I remember the cruise they just went on. Money. He got money. No. He brought his whole family. He got money. But anyway, man. Um, <laughs> Not him trying to change the yeah. Sunday, crazy. I just watched football all day. Um, it was a great weekend, though. Um, my boys won. Um, to my people in Baltimore, I'll see y'all next weekend. How was, how I was going to the game? Cigar. Huh? I was steaks and cigars. Oh, yeah, I went to steaks and cigars at the homie's house. Uh, right here at the homie's again. house. That was great, man. I had the best food there. You know what I'm saying? Is that a place called of, steaks and cigars? No, no. Our friend had to get together, oh. and um, you brought your own steak and brought your own cigars. And I didn't get an invite. She said she forgot to invite you. Oh, I how know. does it feel, Reggie? No, how does no, that no. feel? Nah, she how really does it feel? She really did. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck yeah. Trust me, she <laughs> likes me. Yeah, she likes me. But no, nah, man. Um, <laughs> just spill something on you. Yeah, I did. It was alcohol. It's not, a, it's not the first time. In your mouth, bro. It's not the first time. Why are you pointing things out right now? Definitely not the first time. I'm just, I'm Y'all just, on my head. You, you on my head. You your mouth. This thing is on my head today. I'm on course buffer today. <laughs> so look, man. So look, I, I had steaks. I had lamb chops. Wow. Oh, dude. You know, salt, pepper, garlic. And what? Then, what? Hey, no lamb steaks chops. Steaks and cigars. Why are you bringing extra dishes? Because you had to bring your own shit. Yeah. Okay, it's, but the meal was called Steaks and Cigars. So you had to bring your own steak. steak to cook. Yeah, I know. You brought your steak, but why, why are you bringing lamb chops? Because what, what, the, what the fuck? What if I want lamb chops? It's, what if she, want, what chops she want lamb chops? It's not lamb chops, night. It's steak. Everybody doesn't eat red meat like that. Then don't come to Steak and Cigar Night. That's period. Oh, no. That is blasphemy. I mean, I eat red meat, so I mean. We know. No, <laughs> 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 so, the streets was a perfect button for that. Uh, apparently, brown meat too, because she's full of streets. Anyway, <laughs> but they think they know me. They think they know me so well. What they don't know brown shit. Meat? Huh? What is brown meat? He don't know. 
he just saying shit. Because mm. <laughs> what would you know about it, Corey? Have you had some? What? Have you had some? What is brown? All right, then. <laughs> right. Just want to know. Right. Just want to know? Just just be making the, up just shit. Just for the streets. No, it's not for me. Where are you going to say the most outlandish, nastiest shit he you can think of? And he's looking at me. Why are you thinking about it? <laughs> he's don't to say don't do that. Bad. Don't even look at me, Corey. <clears throat> look at the teleprompter. Look, look at the Not their thing. teleprompter, <laughs> bro. Look at the screen. <laughs> we got a teleprompter up in your mind. Why y'all fucking <laughs> with me? Oh, my God. It's been a real day. And y'all are on my ass. Oh, <laughs> bro. Uh, but no, on Sunday, I didn't do shit, man. Um, got the house together, back to work this week in uh, Baltimore. Hey, this motherfucking chair sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, my ass hurts. Um, Baltimore. Mine don't. Mine ba- don't. Baltimore, I will see y'all next week, my oh, boy. Are you going out there? Yeah, I'm flying out there for the game. Whoa. Um, flying don't out there get, for the don't game. Don't get snowed in now. You know, I'm talking you know about, that storm going. Corey ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about I'm definitely not worried about that. Uh, I fly, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the AFC Championship, and hopefully my boys uh, make it a Super Bowl. The yet? I am not taking the private jet. I'm taking Spirit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely taking Spirit. I hope my Someone Spirit. Someone who can afford a fifty dollar reservation fee and a steak and cigar night, yeah. dry or riding in Spirit. Yeah, you got damn right. Did you, you know not what? realize one of them plane doors just fell off like two or three weeks ago? That wasn't hey, Spirit. That wasn't Spirit. That was Alaska Airlines. That was definitely was. I'm yeah. trying to prove a point, but yeah, because you know. uh, <laughs> American Airlines at the last minute was like a thousand dollars. So guess what? Spirit was like 300, so guess what amen. I'm doing? Amen. Hey, amen. You amen. know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of coins. I'm going to go buy me a new jacket tomorrow. What kind <laughs> of jacket? And you're right, I might wear a whole bunch of clothes so I got to pay that bag fee. Ooh. Yeah. I just want to know, but and, now. And remember I'm that, because if you can't I'm, fit in that one container, they're going to make you buy some shit, and that shit is always $200 look, I was, extra. I wasn't planning on taking a lot of clothes, but apparently we're going out Friday night, so now I got to fucking take clothes. Corey, uh-huh. you got old man hands. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? No fucking hands just like it's a whole bunch of wrinkles up in them. Huh? Wow. I want to get me a manicure this weekend, man. You didn't put on a little lotion today. No, you know how many times I had to wash my hands today, man. Mm-hmm. I pissed so much today, bro. Oh wow! I drank so much water today. Good for you, hydration. Yeah, man. I got to prepare for this weekend in Baltimore. What did they say in the military? Hydrate, 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 or what was? Uh, yeah, all that. I I realized that's because we're all alcoholics in the military, and that's why they kept telling us to hydrate, not because they cared about us, but because we're all alcoholics in the military. That and they also needed because they were pumping us with hormones and shit. Yeah. And if we ever got fucked up because we were running around and shit or passed out from dehydration, yeah, they got not, lost. It's too. not great. Yeah, <laughs> and you used to see um, on the bathroom um, stalls, you know, what color is your pee, is your pee this color? <laughs> if your pee is this color, you need to drink more water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, it was like good amount of hydration. Yeah. It could be better. What the fuck are you doing? First of all, the military is going to make scary. sure the equipment works. What do you mean? <laughs> Y'all were equipment. Yeah. Damn. Property. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, it happens. It does. You know. Okay. Some of us got out at a good time. So to our shit. We got shit? Yeah, man. We got shit, dude. Things to talk We got about. shit, man. Hmm. Um, first off, I want Tanisha, you had a great topic about Gen Z versus versus millennials. No nope. aging I'm gone wrong. wrong. So let's was, let's get into this, man. So what do you mean? There's this uh person on TikTok called Jordan the Stallion. This man looks like he's my age, about twenty nine to thirty years old, maybe even thirty two. He just he has I thought the nigga was like thirty five. See, that's too grown. I don't uh, think the way he talked, I didn't think he, he was thirty five. Like but yeah. I thought he was about in my age group. This man is what, twenty five, twenty six? And um It's his beard though, man. Yeah, it's and the beard and, and, and the glasses. And his voice. Who? He has a deeper voice. The food dude. His, the name, food is yeah. out, his name is Jordan. Yeah. His name is Jordan the Stallion. And he goes uh he goes on uh TikTok and exposes restaurant secrets like, oh, this is how KFC makes their chicken. Oh, the ball or, head dude? No, he's not bald. He nah, he oh, like, that yeah, he yeah, like stands yeah, in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. He like yeah. it, he's like, come here. And yeah. all that shit. He's like about twenty five, twenty six. Twenty six, twenty six, yes. And he made a valid point because the people kept saying that his age is wrong. He's gotten stopped at uh, bars and shit, and they were just like, "This is a fake ID. This is not your age. Who are you?" And all this other shit. Wow. And he's just like, he made a valid point of asking a question like, "Why are Gen Z people aging a lot faster than millennials?" Because because they do dope <laughs> shit. <laughs> Easy enough. Move it on. Move it on. I mean, but you're not wrong. However, I had uh, an idea, and and this came from, like, reading comments and stuff, and it makes a lot of sense. My group of people. Yeah, I be in the comments. I'm a comment ninja. And? Okay. Go ahead. Let me hear. People shooting comments at you, but you ain't shooting back. Shut up. I'm not supposed to shoot when they (laughs) shoot their shot at me. What the fuck? First of all, what did he, was he blind? Wow, Reggie. (sighs) 
No, he know. was just white. He was a white guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he so he probably white. scared. It makes sense. <laughs> damn. <laughs> that makes sense. No offense to you. Thank you for the compliment. Damn, damn white. <laughs> I think his name is Damn White Men Can Jump on Instagram. Or whatever. <laughs> anyway, back to white this millennial can shit. Can't um, he made a point of saying um, millennials age uh, slower due to our foods having um, preservatives in it when we were growing up and other people having, or, uh, or Gen Z, yeah, Gen Z people having um, hormones in their food. Hmm. So hormones make you grow faster, make you, pro, you know, boobs grow, height, change thank, of voice faster. Thank God for them hormones in high school. And, you know, and then I had another idea, too, because I grew up on cow milk and acne and the ugly phase and gauchos. <laughs> um, meanwhile, these kids don't even what have gauchos? a pre Gauchos are like capris, but they're like flowy. They're like early 2006 hmm. pants. Um, okay. Thank you, thank it's you, a Reggie. style. Thank you, Reggie. Oh, I'm going to ask if I, <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I'm I was lost. Good for you, I was education. Lost. lost. The more you know. I mean, I still didn't get educated, but I'm going to let it flow. I said gauchos are capris, but they were flowy pants. Come on, so, boy. like, bell bottoms? No. Capris are not bell bottoms. You said, you said capris, but flowy. Yeah. I'm confused now. Capris are tight and short. Yeah, they're short pants, but they're flowy and made of cotton. Bell bottoms are long. You can't use bell bottoms. <laughs> Reggie, shut up. Anyway. Uh, girls still wear these today. Do they? Yeah. I don't like yoga bitches, though. They don't nah, really. they fucking flooding at that point with bell bottoms on. <laughs> That's what that is. You're starting some shit, bro. Oh, anyway, I was saying we always had, okay. we had cow milk and we I'm had really on. bad foods. We had hamburger helper and all this other <clears throat> shit. Hey, don't sleep on hamburger helper. Calm I down. mean, I like, I like this people, day. I've seen people who actually made like homemade hamburger helper and that shit look good. Chili Mac is the shit. Homemade mm -mm. too. You can make Gotta that Gotta get shit that homemade. cheeseburger, bro. Come on, bro. Stop. Are, stop playing. Respect. What about the lasagna? <laughs> yeah. Nah. I like the lasagna. If I want lasagna, I'm going to buy the lasagna. Stouffer's. Yet again, <laughs> we here. But hey. do you just put it in the oven and then you take it out and eat it, or do you season it first and then put it in the oven? No, and then you put it in the oven. Yeah, you put it in the oven, pop a couple of holes up in that thing, and you go. And you you're not supposed it. to put holes in it. You're supposed to vent it. So pitch mm -hmm. it. No, niggas don't reach. Because then it's still, venting. Cause then it's still no. frozen in the middle and shit. No, we don't not. do that. No, no, no. Not venting, bro. Do y'all know how to cook homemade lasagna? I mean, Corey, you probably do, but uh, do you do don't, it? Don't ask me questions like that. I said, Corey, you might. Okay, good. I'm talking about Reggie. Do you know how to make homemade lasagna? Huh? You probably don't. Okay. My first job was in an Italian restaurant. It doesn't matter where your first job was. It's just the fact of the pure hatred that I just got. Or was it hatred? Oh, was I, it out of nowhere. To, out of respect for fat? Tanisha, she just giving back what she get, what we giving out. Every time. Okay. Every time. So she back to Gen Z life. being old. <laughs> back to Gen Z yeah, being older shit. They're aging very quickly and I'll progressively. I'll way to your heart and walk out of it. Oh, if you had the chance, that door is closed and locked from the inside. Thank you, sir. So I'm think, uh, and you got a shotgun, he'll get in. Mm. <laughs> you, the, you got the wrong house, okay? But no, so why y'all old? So that's your theory, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then, oh, what I was saying is we had cow milk and all these preservatives in our food. And meanwhile, these kids, they have, um, they have almond milk, oat milk, all these nut milks and okay. shit. <laughs> so you can just drink all these other milks that are not filled with actual hormones and all this other stuff, but then your food is filled with hormones, like the chickens, the turkey, okay. the, all the things. It's just exhausting. Is it empty? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your ass up. Rex, you, known that. you had anyway. a theory. Yeah, um, so millennials never smoked cigarettes, but Gen Z oh. vapes, dude. Vapes heavy. Heavy. So, like, bro, Ooh. no one's bringing up the nicotine, but Absolutely. Those, those kids are up all oh, night. They, Come oh, on. Yeah, they smoke yeah. the nicotine, not yeah. getting sleep. They're going to the clubs. They're drinking heavy. Yeah. Perks, bars, dance, and all these other right. creative drugs, too, recreationally. And they think that shit is fun. When we had <laughs> lean and alcohol. We stopped drinking lean because it stopped becoming cool. <laughs> so, Reggie, you're yep. you're close to my age group. Mm. Do you think drugs are more prevalent in our day in high school or they are now? It's just more talked about. Okay. I feel like y'all had weed and coke. Nah, there was all the shit. There, there people doing acid. Shit? Like what? Yeah. yeah. People doing acid. LSD, okay, acid, mushroom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but those are those aren't super. Well, I'm I mean, not gonna say my, acid. my friends were doing coke. My friends were doing coke, doing yeah. fucking mushrooms, doing fucking lean. Doing, I grew up like right in that middle era, right before it switched. So yeah. Like, 
it was it was a lot going on. Meanwhile, when I was in school, we had a meth ring in high what? school in the bottom of the hot Cheeto bag. They was doing meth in high school? Yes, though? they were selling it. And I seen a well, girl doing lots of coke in the bathroom. Meth is speed. I'm trying try to make fun. it to fifth at, period. At Legacy? Without, yes, without getting in trouble. I'm trying to wash my hands. And this girl and her friend were at the dry towel holder. And she's like, oh, my bad. And she wiped all that shit off. I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to just walk out with wet hands. My bad. Ain't no, ain't no way. Oh, my bad. Would get me caught up in this situation. My mama would beat my ass if she thought I was doing some coke. So not this pretty little note. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's. I mean, kids in my days was was a little bit more inventive. They was doing whippets and shit. <laughs> whippets? Isn't yeah. that like air cans or some shit? Yeah, oh, they was doing them shit in the back of the That's classroom, oh, we had drinking the in class. Game too. We was drinking in class. It's like the modern day whippets, but we we were just holding our breath until we passed out. You ever seen somebody Crazy. smoke in class and blow that shit into their backpack? What? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Smoking yeah. weed in the class. Yeah. yeah. Somebody said my one yes. of my homegirls mm -hmm. set her desk on fire. The worst I did was get drunk at school. <laughs> Me too. No, we did That's that. The worst I did. On the you bus. I, I remember getting drunk going to school. No, no, I no. I no. getting drunk at school. I was got, just drunk, drunk as fuck the first period. In the period. middle of English class. Yeah. In really? the middle. And we sat Absolutely. in the front. What's Absolutely. The, what is the worst shit y'all ever did in high school? Tell us the worst shit. I want to. No, I'm talking to the people out there oh, who bro. listen. Oh, thank God. Huh? I want to hear it. I want to know. I want to know what's the worst shit y'all have ever done in high school. I will tell y'all this: my best football game in high school, I was drunk for. Coach said I played lights out the day. Apparently, yeah, it was great. It was against Rancho too. Damn. I went to the best ditch party ever. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> it was like 400 kids there. Like you, you know that movie Project X? Yeah. Where he threw that party, oh, it was like you that. told me this story. Nice. It was like that. You and told like nice. the police came, and I just went to sleep in the middle of the floor. When that movie came out, I was in high school, and everybody wanted to throw a Project X party. I couldn't go. My mama wouldn't have that shit. But there was so many. Your mama would have killed you. Oh God, I wouldn't you wouldn't be, be here right now. I wouldn't. Uh, and this is all serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so but, glad you didn't go. Me too. Um, but I did do shit in high school. Like I was experimenting. Uh, I think somebody gave me some type of. You smoked. Hydrocodone? What? Oh, I did pill. You was, you was a pill popper? That's a pill. I did it twice. No wonder you were skinny as shit in high school. Pill popper? I was taking that shit when I was shit. like five. You just mad because you was built like a llama since birth. Still Don't am. blame me. Still am. <laughs> Don't <laughs> blame me for that. Anyway. Um, but yeah, and then I uh, I drank one of the first editions of the Four Loco recipes. Yeah. The one that got banned. I drank oh, that shit in shit. five minutes. When I told you I hurled in the next 20 <laughs> My body rejected that shit so fast, but I was drunk the entire day trying to sober up before I had to go home. Because my mom would have been like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What One night we this? drank some Bacardi 151. Oh, not 151. 151 oh. make you see Jesus. Oh. That's all I got to say. Make you see Jesus. Make you see Jesus. Well, I threw Jesus. a ramen that I had like two days prior you, to. You what? I threw up ramen that I fucking oh, had like two days prior to. Ramen coming <laughs> Oh, man. Right, strings and shit coming out. Like, like you got worms. <laughs> <laughs> like I got worms and Yo, shit. Yo, man, bro. I felt so bad. I knew a Navy guy, man. Why? Wow. I got him. I got him addicted to 151. Oh, you got God. him drunk? I got him addicted to 151. So you are a pusher. Right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I was in Pensacola. I've been around Pensacola. this my whole life. I was in Pensacola, Florida for for school mm -hmm. and um you know i wonder why i drink so much mm, i don't think that's his fault you reggie do. you was drinking before you, you, you started drinking with me you a mal alcoholic i'm gonna get into that story later alcoholic. i'm gonna get to that story later <laughs> yeah but now this dude he wanted to get drunk he wanted to get drunk and get drunk fast i said well let's get some 151. Yeah, i don't do it if you want to get drunk and get drunk fast rex you had 151. Yeah. first off anything you light on fire you don't need to drink. Yep. You shouldn't. You shouldn't drink. But I'm Should I'm here for it. But I'm here for the shenanigans. He was drinking 150. He started drinking 151 like extra heavy after that. Oh, and God. I felt bad. I really felt bad for this dude. And he just Ooh. went down a dark hole. Ooh. What? He was drinking it like on a regular. Yeah, like Ooh. it was like wow. like I go to. Else? No like I go to the shit. bar and buy. I go to the store and buy a bottle of vodka and my Tito's and come back. He goes and buys 151. You've and some Dr. So Pepper, far. at least. Huh? You've come up so far. What do you Marie. mean? You went from 151 and Tito's to now you got these exotic rums oh, you no, buy no, from no, different no, countries no, no, and no, shit. No, no, He still buys Tito's and fucking I'm not saying, ain't wrong lime and fucking. But I'm just saying, in comparison Tito to the lime, better baby. bottles yeah. that he has now, too. Oh, I got some good bourbon in the house. Now. Don't At sleep bourbon. on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Rex, saying? What was your best like experience in high school or worst experience in high school? Whichever you decide. 
I don't think that was really that terrible. I dragged a lot in high school. I used to ride around with a uh, like a gallon of like water, like a water gallon, but it was filled with vodka. So like depending on who was in my car, people would be like, "Oh, try this some water." I'd be like, "Yeah, go ahead, man." <laughs> Straight got gotcha. you. Yeah, that's your ass now um, up in wow. there. Wow! So you were Asher Roth in high school. Yeah, that's no, insane. Yeah, that was me. That's funny. Oh, Asher Roth. Oh, that's funny. Bro. But yeah, no, I did more crazy shit in college. College was definitely where I. Uh, Where'd you go to college? You and Oh, good oh, shit. Okay. So, did you graduate, Rex? I did. I did. Shit, man. That's your yeah. I went to UNLV. Yeah. Oh, that's Reggie, that don't know. count. I you know what you do. Come on. <laughs> Reggie, that don't count. Because he's like, I got my education. Listen to this, Rex. Reggie. You got your degree and you know every fucking all I, thing. All I <laughs> Reg, Reggie, all I How long did you go to UNLV for? for like, Two days. Two weeks. Huh. <laughs> so, they, so they asked you to pay for classes? <laughs> no, until like, so they started actually paying attention to, to attendance. And they you? were like, uh, <laughs> who are you? you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> I just, I just walked this girl to call. You got to come in like 10 minutes after attendance. This nigga would just, not. You know. He was just going to school to walk girls to class so he can get some. Wow. Down. You were okay. Hey, I would have done, done the same thing, bro. I, I was, was in your position. It. I was Respect. doing it. <laughs> I would, I'd go up there and hang out with my friends that were in college and then, like, go to work and then come back. It was Yo, hard. we had a, we had a guy like that that would hang around school, but he would sell dogs in front of the dorm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Rich, bro. Rich, I bought so much weed off of that dude, bro. Rich the dog. What kind of yeah. dogs were they? Pitbull puppies. How are you? So he was getting it from anywhere. Oh, yeah. How he, are sold, you, he made a killing, bro. How are you Man. selling dogs in, in, in front of the dorm, bro? 18-year-old idiot is not realizing you can't <laughs> have a dog in there. You can't even buy that shit. Yep. be like, I'm out. i see you later. Yeah. No, yeah. no returns. <laughs> Shout out to Rich, bro. I, do, I, I hope he's still alive Yo, right I now, love man. this guy. I love Rich. <laughs> I love him. All right, man. I got Hammer of the year. Um, no. I, I think that millennials and Gen Z are aging differently in a different way because the drugs are more prevalent in this yeah. world. I right mean, now and it's like uh, and i also feel like it also has something to do with mental health mm -hmm. and people running from their problems because mm -hmm. some of that uh stems from you know childhood trauma obviously we all have it because our parents were born no offense to y'all in the 70s i don't know you you not you were born no. in the 80s who yeah, was you were born in the 80s god damn yeah they, they okay. she thinks she knows me i was not ma'am i was he was not 79. I was about to okay, say. You, that don't count. That's the last. Like, just like 1999 is basically 2000. We round oh, up the rock. Oh, shit. Anyway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Got him. That's a good one. That's why your wig ugly. Oh, uh, and it's not a wig. You're or. Oh. It's, not your, it's not a wig? It's not a it's wig. It's not yours. And, oh, actually, it is mine because you know who bought it? Mm. I did. Mm. It's on my receipt mm. from my bank account mm -hmm. with my money. Why do mm -hmm. I come here? Mm. Okay. Because you ain't got a shit else to do. Anyway. So it's a hair piece? <laughs> Actually, it's crochet if you need to know anything. Oh are, are, are your, uh, oh yeah, you got your hair braided. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's but good. it's still not touching your eyebrow though, right? He had to yawn. He it had ain't. to yawn to do that. He had to <sighs> smile real right. hard. Right, right. right. Just, just pull just your, just pull his eyebrows back because first it's so off, tight trying to make sure would, them braids stay listen, pinched. First if off, he roll over, them little dreads going to start popping out like Julio. I guarantee you he went home and took some first off after he got his Not this time, first time. <laughs> Y'all remember how long the locks was. Don't sleep. I mm. told you to reattach them hoes, but you no. Fuck yeah. He Fuck made I look like. a regretting mistake because he's saying, no. I'm going to cut my hair. I don't regret I'm it. Now. I don't regret it. But you grow them back, though. I don't regret cutting them, though. But, so regret cutting them would be putting them back on. You know what I'm saying? This is a new journey. This is a new part of my life, and this is where we are. Amen. It's a new journey. That's all it is. I ain't gonna make fun of that because I like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that. Anyway, but, yeah. yeah. What the old hair, the old hair had bad shit attached to it. What else you got for me, Cor? Yeah, what else? What, what else you got me for me to ignore? Am I the asshole? Yes. <laughs> uh, she beat me to it. <laughs> she beat me to you that one, so, Yeah. <laughs> all right. Man prays for refusing to swap seats with pregnant woman on plane. Man praised? Man prays for refusing to oh, swap praise. seats. Okay. With pregnant woman on plane. Okay. In a recent post shared to Am I the Asshole, one Reddit who goes by the username of Michael Donnelly asked if he was wrong for not giving his seat on a plane to a pregnant woman. He went on to recall how traveling alone on a flight that was over five hours to see his family for the holidays. The user described some of the planning he did when booking his flight. I specifically booked and paid extra for an aisle seat in the second to last row because I have medical issues that sometimes require quick access to the bathroom. However, according to the traveler, irritable Whatever, yeah. Okay. Right before he started boarding the plane, a woman asked him to give up her seat so she could sit closer to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. He went on to describe that while he felt 
em empathetic towards the pregnant woman after claiming that she did not seem distressed. He didn't think he, he didn't think it was fair for him to change his seat. While I felt for her in this situation, as someone with a medical condition, medical condition, I did not feel it was fair to demand I move from the seat I planned for and paid for, especially since she apparently had not booked an aisle seat for herself in advance. The man went on to claim that the flight attendants refused to help mediate the situation as the pregnant woman was still insisting that she that he should have to move. He continued to note that while there weren't any other seats in the bathroom, he still expressed to her that he wasn't going to move. So, what's y'all take? He right. Huh? She right. I, I paid for my Right. Seat. I paid for my damn seat. Mm -hmm. You didn't plan accordingly. Your mm -hmm. emergency doesn't affect me. Yeah. Because you planned improperly. That is, that's your piss poor uh, decision. That's none of my business. Or you can pay me $200 right now. Amen. Zell. zell my ass. Oh, but no, the flight hasn't taken off yet. So yeah, you can zell me while we still on the ground. I'm on my money now. I, I think people are too fucking entitled in this world today. Mm -hmm. Too entitled in this world today. Okay. Okay. Um, you are pregnant. You are, yes, you are giving the gift of life. But God damn it, lady, you don't know what the hell is wrong with the medical condition. Mm -hmm. And I paid for this damn seat. Now, like y'all said, if you are willing to give me what I paid for this seat... The extra. The extra? Mm -hmm. If I had to pay $75 for the seat, you know what? Give me, if it means so much to you, give me $80. Let me make some money out of this. Right. I'll make some paper. Huh? Off the pregnant lady. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. I planned. It ain't no. my baby. It ain't, no, it ain't my baby. <laughs> it ain't my baby. It ain't my baby. <laughs> it ain't my baby. You know Why what I'm saying? I like that, Reggie. I'm just saying. It's, it's not my it's baby. It's not. You know, you ain't my girl. Shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't mistakenly do that. No. <laughs> not making it a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Reggie pull out Game of Strong, so you say. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely didn't do that shit, right, Reg? Well, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Look, as a woman with a child, I would never sick. expect anybody to move the seat that you paid for. And that's why that's I say an the entitlement. Matter of fact, I don't give else. a fuck if I didn't pay for the seat. This is where they sent me. Guess where I'm sitting? And I'm not exchanging it. Take that if the uh, flight attendants or the pilot don't tell me I have to move or y'all gonna have to get security to wrap this bitch up I, because I, I'm not moving. He I'm said like, the flight no. attendants were trying to get him to move. I don't mm -hmm. give a shit. And he felt targeted. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, now he felt I targeted. Feel what airline? And now I'm going to say. go and Ooh, complain I that I was believe. harassed to give up my seat to someone and it's not my responsibility. Yeah. If y'all wanted her to have the seat, you should have had a seat for that woman. Where was her baby daddy? Here? If he was beefing at that yeah. wedding, you should have oh, been beefing at that wedding. <laughs> just like he don't want to do nothing for you, me neither. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So that's that. Has anybody watched that American Nightmare on Netflix? Corey. You just switching topics like I have been I have been telling oh no 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 no. I told you to Saturday to watch it. You watched it yesterday. Okay, I'll give you a pass. What is what? American Nightmare? What is that? <laughs> Reggie, you gotta take this. So it's about a story that um that happened a while ago and I apparently everybody forgot about this. Mm -hmm. So down in um where was it? Uh Vallejo. Vallejo. The Valley Cal Del California. California, a woman and her boyfriend at the time mm -hmm. got um had a home invasion. Mm -hmm. She gets kidnapped mm -hmm. during the process of the home invasion. Well, it it kind of gets outlandish because the way that they broke it down on Netflix was his story, his version of the story, her version of the story, and then the cop's version of the story. Mm -hmm. So during his version of the story, which is what you see first, he explains what happens, which is like, spoiler alert, if you have not watched it, spoiler alert. Um, spoiler alert. It's like, um, he explains like what, how the kidnapping took place. Like they woke us up out of our sleep. They, they forced us to put on these goggles that were blacked out, these swim goggles that were blacked out. And then um, he took our blood pressure and then he gave us like um, drugs pretty much. Damn, he was a doctor? Now the drugs, <laughs> now the drugs didn't didn't incapacitate them, but it left them groggy. Yeah. Mm. And then eventually they said, come, he succumbed to the he drugs that was in his system and he fell asleep. But at before he fell asleep, like the the person that was talking told him, like, we're gonna tape off this section uh in your living room. We're gonna leave you on this couch. If you move from this section, we will kill her. Oh. It, we're, gonna leave, we're gonna leave a camera. <laughs> we're gonna leave a camera up in here to watch you. And if you leave from this section or you do anything, you call the cops. We're going to kill her. That nigga was in a saw game. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, what the hell? So like, like after a while, after a while, he finally passes out. So as 
as he was passing out, he hears them leave the house and throw her in the car. Mm. So he wakes up and he's like, oh, shit, his phone is right there. And he gets an email from them and they're like, we want $15,000 and, and we'll return her. And he's like, all right. He calls the bank. The bank is like, we can only give you 3500 $3, <laughs> so he emails that back to them and he's like, Look, I can only get thirty five hundred. What are we gonna do? They don't respond. So after like four hours of sitting on the couch waiting for a response, he's finally like, Fuck this, I gotta call the cops. He calls the cops. He he explains it to them. Well, three months prior to that movie Gone Girl had just came out. Mm. <laughs> so they think that liar. he's lying. Mm-hmm. Flat out, like this shit is outlandish. Like, what you mean he he pulled up in the house? It's all these guys. They put fucking goggles on you, gave you drugs and all that. So they like, do you do drugs? And he's like, nope. <laughs> well, cut to hers. She gets. She finally shows up. Oh well, I shouldn't say. At the end of his video, she shows back up. Like I'm gonna say four days later. Yeah. There's probably more days. She yeah. just walk in the house. Just she walk. She shows up at her parents' house. Yep. Like nothing's wrong. Like nothing wrong. calls her dad is like, hey, I'm here. She said so, I had a spa day in, in, so, in Puerto Rico. <laughs> so they they contact her and they're like, you need to come in. So she's like, okay. Never shows up. Never goes into the police station. Nope. So then um, she goes okay. to a lawyer. Yeah, she goes to a lawyer. The lawyer's like, look, they think you lying. So they go in there. She goes in there finally and tells her side of the story without even talking to her boyfriend. And they match up. Mm. Word for word, our our yeah. event for event. They can robbery each other's stories. Yeah. Right. So, but they're like, you motherfuckers are lying. And Y'all are in this together. together. Yeah. So then mm-hmm. eventually, um, another county gets like some home invasions. Oh, no, 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 no. I skipped a part. The the guy starts are the persons that the per- that, that the victimized per- them. Oh, yeah. Started emailing the news and was like, look. She's not lying. She's not lying, and y'all keep on telling y'all keep on saying that she's. They are lying. If y'all don't, excuse me. If y'all don't um, apologize to them, we're going to do this again in 24 hours. Oh my God! Not them threatening the dude. Yeah. <laughs> so so the cops was like, Nah, fuck that. They lying. Yeah. Oh. oh the God. perpetrators do it again. Held they were. Yep. <laughs> and went out there and did it again. Where do you yeah. some white cops? Because I feel like they keep well, listening. Dumbass. Eventually, eventually, like, like, um, so that person that they tried to get, the dad was out there, they out there squabbling in the middle of the grass in front of the house. Or her dad and the boyfriend? No, the, no, the new house that the, he tries to break into. The new house that they tried to break into. The dad was there. So the dad is is fighting the abductors while they're trying to take his daughter. And then um, right, eventually they end up catching the guy that has been du- perpetrating all this, cr- all these crimes. Yeah. And then um, they finally figure out that they they trace it back to he actually kidnapped that one lady back in Vallejo. Yeah. And then they prosecute him on all that stuff, and the cops still haven't apologized yeah. to them. They sued the city for two point five million. Dollars. And did they? No, they settled. They settled for two point five million dollars. They sued them, and then they so settled for that. The, the whole messed up part about this even more. She got raped, right? The dude raped <gasps> oh, her twice. Yeah, he raped her twice. Dude raped her twice. Oh, go ahead, Corey. That ain't enough. So jump on up in there. So oh, listen, it's, it's it's some wild shit. So I listen, watch this now. she Ooh, gets raped. The dude comes in. The, first time. the dude comes in and rapes her. He's like, "Look, I gotta rape you, and I gotta record. I gotta record it because we need something on you in case you go to the cops." Yes. And then he comes back later and says, "Oh, I gotta do it again. It wasn't good enough. I gotta rape you again, and this time it needs to look essential. You, you need to, you need to, to act like you like it. Essential. You need to participate. You, you need to participate and act like you like it." So then he tells her, "You can go ahead and take off your goggles, and then let's just say he has these three beverages mm-hmm. in front of her. She starts chugging them." Yeah. Yeah. So that way she can be numb, numb to, to the, the shit, right? To the it, to so what's about to happen? It's the whole fucked up part about Boy, it. Boy, you got me fucked up. The cops, the, everything comes out from the cops, right? All the investigation, the affidavit, the sealed um, court docs come out. The boyfriend goes into the cops and he says, look, the the guy who kidnapped her said he's going to call me. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. going to call my phone in such and such amount of time. Mm-hmm. The cops took his phone 
and put the phone in airplane mode yeah. so no calls came through they put it back off airplane mode two missed calls were there if the cops would have got that phone call they could have traced it that they, she, they been raped the she, she wouldn't have been raped the second time yeah. they would have traced it to within 200 feet of it i would have took that shit to supreme court yeah. you got me fucked up everybody would like know it, about all this. that shit was crazy no, when did this supposedly happen uh 2015 2016 mm-hmm. hey, and i didn't know shit about it um and then it came out the it got the f it also came out there's a guy that there's FBI. a guy the fbi the the kidnapped thing she wasn't supposed to be kidnapped it was supposed to be a different woman to be kidnapped he said you weren't the target andrew somebody else was the target her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend was the target yeah they had but then like, like, like two months prior like, to but God. then the fbi agent who was working the case his ex-girlfriend was the girl that was supposed to be, was supposed to be kidnapped yeah, no, 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 you said it wrong. So no. the, the guy, the guy, yeah, you did. The, the, the FBI guy, agent. The FBI's agent's current girlfriend was the the guy that they suspected ex-girlfriend. Okay. You said it too fast. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here trying to connect the dots because I'm over yeah. here doing my own investigation in my head because... It's what? the wildest shit. It's ever. the wildest How shit. Many episodes Rex, is in this? three. Three. Three 45 minute episodes. I'm going to watch it. Rex, three. I'm that sounds heavy as hell, bro. I don't know if I can watch that. Man. No, man, it's... Like, they had, they had me hooked. Yo. Rex, I was drawn in. I was like, this is fucking great. And then, so, so they caught the dude? They That's caught the dude. Yeah, yeah, caught yeah, yeah, the dude. Yeah. Former hey. Marine, former lawyer. Yeah. Just doing weird they, shit. They, no, they caught the dude with all the shit. All that, the shit. That they said he had blackout fucking swim goggle. Yeah. Dude, fucking. Oh. Oh. And, and listen, he had blow up motive? dogs. Yeah. 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 He yeah. He's just a creep. Dogs. He was just a creep. He had blow so up listen, dogs that he sat around. The only way they, the only reason they caught him and correlated his... Um, the ladies kidnapping to the one they found, the, the one that they found later on, was because the black goggles she had on had one strand of, of blonde DNA. hair. Of her blonde hair. Of her blonde hair. DNA, man. And, her, and, the cop, and the cop, the female cop who saw that shit, did her due diligence to find out whose hair that was. That's See, it. y'all don't need to do physical violent crimes when there's cybercrime. I don't understand why y'all doing this. Like, know. stop raping people. It, it, there's a bunch of billionaire if companies out there. If you do cybercrime, I will find you. <laughs> yeah, don't, That's Corey Jones. He yeah. get paid to do that. So I'm not going to stop you from doing that. But if you're going to do that, steal from the rich, get to the pole. Robin Hood, baby. Yeah. Like, why are you raping people? Like, that shit stop. sent me down a rabbit hole. Yeah, Rex, I just believe for real. that people who Three quick episodes. Yeah. 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 If you're really proven good. guilty of sexual assault, baby, castration should be the only answer for women men and men Damn. and there's ways of doing that for women as well because if you touch on people you shouldn't be able to touch on yourself ever again so yeah. ever so yeah. that shit sent me down did you another rabbit hole a rabbit hole well i like i like real life crime mysteries yeah mm-hmm. or like or like true crime yeah or shit like that this so shit's scary for a woman so have I you ever watched that. the murder murders yo that north carolina shit South Carolina. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where the where the the boy killed the girl on the boat. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's the wildest shit in the world. I love true crime shit. That's okay, so uh, uh, that I need a little bit of uh, I need a little bit of backstory. So for motor, motor. so a whole bunch of kids get drunk. He yeah. wrecks his boat, kills a girl, and then after that, the whole family. But the whole family runs this town. Yep. When I tell you. They run lawyers, the town. judges, they are, yeah, everything. They are literally. Uh, the, they might as well change the town name. Yes. Yeah. Hundred so percent. Yeah. They. If you go, if if it is literally a movie, like it is, it is literally. If they, if I walk out here and I crash, and I call my uncle and he get, he's gonna get me off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but that sound like the military. Key, if you a good, Bro, man, they, 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 hey, that's yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, you a golden boy, they gonna take care of you. I knew a guy, man. Me. Shout out to my boy, I'm gonna say your name. So I knew a guy. Um, you know, missing ships movement in the Navy is a big fucking deal, okay? Mm-hmm. You can't miss ships movement. This dude missed ships movement, and guess what happened to him? He got flew in. Nothing, next nothing dock. happened to him. He they got flew like, into the We're next gonna dock. take care of you, buddy. Yeah, he got flew into the next we dock. We got you, we I got you. you. Yeah. I had a situation that happened um, in 2017. Um, I was really close with my first shirt at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, really cool dude. Very, like, he was progressive. He was a really good first shirt. He took yeah. care of all of his people. But because I knew him before he became my first shirt, we already yeah. were friends. Yeah, so you have a relationship cool. already. Um, mm-hmm. And that situation happened to me. And it could, it should have been a bigger deal than what it was. Everything gone. I honestly don't know what happened. I blacked out at a whole situation, and I honest, I don't know whatever happened to a lot of parts mm, of that. Yeah, um, convenient. 
it ain't what you know sometimes. It's definitely who you know. Hey, and, yeah. and I can't corroborate those stories. I don't remember. Right. Did you I'm give good. him some ass? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? If you can hide, you can hear. No, what'd you say? Because Corey was talking too. What'd you say? <laughs> Corey, why you take off your headphones? Right. What the fuck? What was that? What? Red, did, I mean, Rex, did you hear? What did he say? Fred, did he you, ain't paying. I'll say it again. What did you say? Did you give him some ass? No. Okay. I slept with him before, though. I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, it wasn't even like that. What street are you for? Hey, Corey. That brings up a question. That brings up a valid question. Yeah. Do they ever put like uh, hers was the first shirt? I don't know what they call him in the Navy. Chief. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our chief, yeah. If in charge of airmen? Yes. That's who's in charge of it? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, there's a hierarchy, but okay. the chief is in charge of the division, and yeah. So, like, do they ever put women in charge of men? Yes, all uh-huh. the time. Huh. All I the wonder time. how many times that happened. All the time. Where, do you not recall? Like, all the time. Well, no, that was a... All the time, no, Bridget. No, no. What do you think it happens like, all the time? Where it's like they... Huh? No. What? No. What'd you call it? No. What? Huh? No. Well, I what just want to know... What do you think it happens all the time? What you think it happens? What you're thinking happens all the time. We're stuck right now. No, Corey talks <laughs> fucking, he mother mouths shit and the shit Look aggravates me. Fucking the shit aggravates you. Why is your headphone on your head like T.I.'s hat, Corey? Oh, <laughs> 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 your headphone That's pretty good. Like Ray J That's shit. pretty good. I'm like, uh, fucking love and hip hop and shit. Ray J, all just the time. remember, Ray J hit it first. Anyway. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he ain't gonna let you forget it either. Ever. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that man was tormenting that man, so I'm, I'm gonna make a diss track, and it's a known diss track. Oh man! <gasps> Anything How else? Ray J catch a stray in the middle of our bullshit. As always, anybody catch strays on this podcast? Seriously, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't okay, no I have one ball. more thing I want to discuss. It's a morality <laughs> test, and it's a lot, so I'm gonna let it play. If it's y'all a, don't mind listening, it's a oh god. god. Oh, shut up, Corey. Jesus. What if you decide to go to the Bahamas for a much needed vacation? You make it to the airport on time, and after checking in your bags, you board the plane. You unfortunately get the middle seat, and the person to your left is a woman holding a two month old infant in her arms. The seat to your right is empty, and since the plane is about to take off, you realize that they probably missed their flight. The plane soon starts to take flight and you are a couple hours away from paradise. You take a nap and about two hours into the flight, the pilot gets on the intercom and states that they have to do an emergency landing due to one of the wings catching on fire. They tell you to immediately buckle in if you're not because they have to quickly land the plane before it malfunctions. Pilot then starts dropping the plane at rapid speeds, causing the oxygen to decrease significantly in the plane. The masks quickly fall down for people to put on, but unfortunately the only mask that falls down between your three seats is the one to your right, which occupies no one. Without hesitation, you reach over and grab the mask to your right and immediately put it on, taking a couple deep breaths. The woman on your left begs you to give the oxygen mask to her infant in order to save them. Since a baby is a newborn and not fully developed, it will need much more oxygen in order to survive. Which- oh, damn. Anyway. It ain't my fucking kid. <laughs> baby got to go. <laughs> Do not laugh, bro. <laughs> I nope. didn't even know the rest of the damn story. I don't need to hear nothing else. <laughs> it literally oh says God. she begs. Yeah. Y'all, I got my breath going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in my perspective, <laughs> the fuck? I got a song that I got to get home to. So get and your entitled and, ass on somewhere. And then, too, in the beginning of every flight, Mm-mm. they always say put a mask on to protect yourself mm-hmm. because you can't help nobody mm-hmm. else if you're dead. So I listen to the flight attendants and I'm going to put the mask on myself. Plus, the baby's a newborn. Make a new one. <laughs> here, goes, here goes my second question. <laughs> here goes my second Yo, question. Yo, that's make a new one is wild. I mean, look, it's <laughs> a no, newborn. Mm-hmm. It's a no. newborn ass baby. I don't no. know what the fuck you expect me it to do in the first wild. place. Make a that, new one is wild. That is not wild. Because here goes the second what question to follow up what she just said. Come is, on. Where's this baby's father? Okay, come on. Go here, Rick. Because, because you know where it's, if that baby's father was there, that baby's father would knock my ass out and took that oxygen mask off of me. No, but you got something. He would have been in that seat. What you got, Rex? You got something. It's time. 
time. Be exactly. Yeah. Because yeah, it's no, rumble time. We're fighting. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> it's the <laughs> full time. He's like, ready to rumble. Yeah. Uh, ready to honestly, bro, I, I was just on an airplane, bro, and, and I feel like airplanes are like one of this crazy moment where you just kind of give it up to God and like the people around you, like. If you are in a survival situation in that, like, that's on you, bro. You got to do all everything you can to su survive, bro. Fuck like that, I said, that I baby, bro. I have a child. I have to get home too, too. I cannot put your child's needs before the needs of my own son. I, I no just got to get back to killing time, bro. I ain't <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ain't right. applause that's for yourself, Ray. So, I ain't got no kids. And you okay, lady. For me for okay, free. lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got one job. Mm -mm. That's to get home. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fuck you and your kid. Ooh. Give me this oxygen mask. Fuck kids. <laughs> like, like the great Bernie Mac said, fuck them kids. Mm -hmm. Give me this oxygen mask so I can get home to mine and make sure they're taken care of. I ain't got. So sorry about I it. I don't even have any kids, and you ain't getting shit from me. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna sit there and just look at you. Seriously. Like, and be like, hey, no, and, and, and be like, I know what I'm saying. I can't hear you. Don't have like English. You fucking beef by gray headphones is real. He's right. I can't hear shit. Just looking at the baby and <laughs> looking Jesus. at the mom. That noise cancellation Honestly, is for hold real. Hold on, hold on. I didn't think mm. about this. Mm. If the mama got better lungs than her newborn, why should she put mouth to mouth on that damn baby? Not my problem. You think it too fast. You think it too far. I don't care. Not my problem. Right. You, but if no. you want to stay at your baby, do everything you can to stay at that baby. It ain't gonna sure be. Indeed. It ain't coming from me. Sure yeah, because I, I, like I said. Mm. Mm. Oh so man. Or you should have bought that seat. See, that's kind of fucked. It's kind of fucked up that you introduced that as a morality question when you knew everyone was gonna be like, "Fuck that kid," <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fuck that kid. I didn't know. I thought Red, I mean, I thought Ford was gonna have a heart and be like, you know, baby's gotta die. You know. Are we yeah. horrible? Are we horrible people? Who? Us. Who is us? These us four for saying fuck that kid. Oh. No, we just have our own personal reasons, and we know that we have to save ourselves sometimes. You don't know, add me to that. Bro. Okay. I'm out I can't be happy to save the whole to everybody. Hmm. I oh, save certain people. Oh, to them niggas you got. Uh, no, I don't save them either. Because if you're left in the field to drown, you're going to drown as well. Chop to save a hold of a two month old baby. It's crazy. <laughs> if that nigga, if that nigga can't swim, he bound to drizzle. Wow. Oh, if he can't swim, he ain't got nothing to do with me. So. Wow. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> He ran into that. I don't understand what you wanted me to say in that. Why are you looking at me like that? What? <laughs> I said what I said. He can't swim. That sh ain't got shit to do with me. Bro. Bliss splash, I was taking the bath. <laughs> <laughs> what Victoria what? Mommy said? All up on the Get ready to take night. a dive. Get ready Ooh. to take a dive, baby. But, yeah. All right, man. We got anything else when we get up out of here, man. Wow. What Let we me got? go home. Let me go to fuck uh -huh. home. I'm, I'm trying to get you out of here, man. Okay, so actually, real, real quick. Uh, Corey, where are you sitting so we can look for you on TV? Uh, section 131. Are you, you going to paint your belly and show it to us? Definitely yeah, not. It's going to be cold as shit. Shirtless in Baltimore? Yeah. It's going to be cold. You got to around your tree. Right? Listen, I have to go to North Face this weekend <laughs> this week and buy me a damn winter jacket because I have no winter jacket. Hey, yo, oh, I, scored really? a, I scored a really nice one at Tommy Hilfiger at the Outlet Mall for 50 bucks. You know black folks don't wear Tommy Hilfiger well, anymore, right? There's similar stores nearby. Because you know? Tommy <laughs> Hilfiger don't like black people. I know it's an internet niggas hoax. Always, niggas wearing Tim's, but that tree represents yeah, well, a lot of niggas that they were hanging back Tommy in the day. Tommy Hilfiger liked Aaliyah. Wow. What, what's wrong with them? I know, I'm joking. Oh, I didn't thought hear, that was fact. Y'all didn't hear wow. this shit back in the 90s? Yeah. About we this all heard Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan hates black people, too. Yeah. About that, it was like Tommy Hilfiger was on something. He was like, I didn't make oh, my clothes for black, black people. people. <laughs> yeah. Michael yeah, that was, that was an internet cheap. hoax back in the day. I don't make my shoes cheap for yeah, black uh, people to and, wear. And Sierra still got a dick, you know. Damn. I met her. I met her once when she first came out. When Goodies first came out. Well, how was the bulge? Was it a big bulge? Or? <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Rex, Rex is back. Shovel no. whenever he wants to. Rex, you got him being a, a Rex. Mean you got shows thing. coming up. Uh, nothing crazy. Nah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just laying low. I'm being Sundance next week. Look yep. at me on the internet doing cool shit. Sundance, okay. Yep. Hey man, we kind of early tonight. Oh well, we got things to do. Dude, um, I'm calling we did pretty good tonight. Yeah, we did good. Uh, look out for the ladies' time next week. The ladies will be back in full effect. Uh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Reggie's uh, a hater because he's a man. Baltimore, <laughs> I'll see you this weekend. Uh, go get me a chicken box, you know what I'm saying? Some crab cakes out in Baltimore real quick. Corey, you out here for these streets. Hey, man. Right. He no. for the streets. Play. How? Because I'm traveling? Yeah. You belong traveling. to the streets, apparently, because you ain't I'm, at home. Because I'm traveling. You ain't at home. Hmm. Mm. Get, your, get your money up. <laughs> get your money up and not your funny up. All right, man. It's the Kid of Time crew, and we are out. Peace. Bye. Are we going to be taking a picture over here, too? Dude, we should. Okay. Uh,